Hi, here's Klaas Nienhuis and today I want to show you how to work with OpenStreetMap data in MapRoom. So I'm going to open uh, MapRoom, here we go. And I'm going to start with an OpenStreetMap preset. Go in there and I'm going to find a location. I have uh, looked around Locarno, Switzerland and that's a nice area. I'm going to pick an area of 20 by 20 kilometers. I'm going to get the buildings and the highways. And this is a list of, uh, of available layers. Later on I will make uh, more OpenStreetMap access available. But in this case you can, you can pick from these layers. And highway it's a bit weird, but that's the tag OpenStreetMap uses for all road stuff. So, actual highways, but also footpaths, bicycle paths, etc. So, anything which is a road, big to small, is called highway. I'm going to pick buildings and highways, and the rest I'm going to leave uh, for the moment. Um, well, let's download and draw the OpenStreetMap data. It's going to download the data. Uh, this might be a lot or might be a little depending on the size of the area but also the place on earth for instance Berlin is extremely dense uh, as is New York but uh, rural, rural areas might be um, uh, less dense so it's drawing all the ways all the shapes and it's also drawing a few bigger uh, uh, bigger shapes which is done right now slide map room to the side and let's check it out well this is very neat um, I've got my highways and in this case this highway is a path and let's see if there are actual roads here path this is a track is there anything else a residential and there are the buildings uh, they are all different kinds of buildings. Let's look at them here in the Scene Explorer. OpenStreetMap data comes with a lot of tags and extra labels and I'm, I'm using some of them to uh, label the shapes uh, coming into 3ds Max. For instance, there is a church here. Let's have a look. There are quite a few actually. Let's look at the highways. Uh, well, here are all kinds of highways, uh, residential uh, roads. Uh, there are the the paths, which are the the hiking tracks uh, in the mountains. Let's get in here and add a new layer. Add a satellite layer. Terrain. I'm going to make it the same size, which was 20 kilometers, I I think. Yes, uh, let's get Bing images, put it to 14, and I'm going to put in terrain heights because this area is very nice and, and hilly and mountainy actually. It's going to download the images and download the terrain heights. It take a while, depending on what you have cached already. There it is. Move this to the side. And this is a very nice looking terrain, very mountainy, uh, which is normal in Switzerland. Um, you can exaggerate the displacement, but you actually don't need it in this area. I am going to increase the mesh density. But where are my shapes? The OpenStreetMap data is still here, and there's a nice trick. You can align the shapes to the OpenStreetMap data. And if I go to my OpenStreetMap layer, I pick the terrain and say align shapes to terrain. Bloop. There we go. Very cool. Actually aligned. And the nice thing is, uh, it, they both use the same displacement. So if I 
select the terrain and I change the displacement my shapes move with it well that's it um, open street map data terrain heights and aligning the shapes to the terrain have fun mapping <laughs>